Hello my friends and channel subscribers, Greg here from Brisbane, Australia with another uncut and edited no ball video. Approximately one year ago I created video which titled LG Near Chief 42 liter microwave versus Samsung microwave and I stated I will never buy LG microwave again. The interesting point is, uh, until today, it is most watched and most discussed video on my channel. And uh, I would like to come honest with you here. That's the probably only one or one of not many videos I created where I completely did not plan it. That means it wasn't product review, it was just rent that I had enough of low quality product bad customer support and I wanted as a purpose of my channel to help everyone to make their own decision based on other people's experiences uh, to make your decision what kind of microwave would you like to buy if you're in a position to choose between those two. So in this video I would like to touch three points. The first point is what do I think uh, one year later? I'm using this microwave already for one year. Am I still made with LG? And whether I would like to um, reverse my opinion about LG versus Samsung. Also, I would like to touch point which I would like to start with. I had a lot of comments about people telling me that they had LG appliances for last 15-20 years they never broke down it was one of the best thing that they ever bought and to address that first point i absolutely 100 percent agree with those comments that was the biggest trigger for my video initially the reason is that if you take my household 15 20 years ago most of my appliances were lg lg was a company with amazing innovation great customer support good pricing and these products last a long time. Quality control was phenomenal. And as a result of my experience, I kept buying LG. This video that I created one year ago that I uh, uh, put in a card above, just if you didn't watch it, you will see my rent there. It actually had a couple of uh, good points. Describes that LG as a company changed. Which way change? I quickly uh, remind you. I bought first LG Neo Chief 42 liter microwave five years ago. It lasted a year and a half. Uh, it just started uh, kind of slightly clicking, not warm enough. Took it to the shop. LG refused to uh, look at it. I uh, swapped under uh, Australian consumer guarantees. The second microwave lasted three months uh, and that was swapped without asking. Um, and the third one lasted a year. So. It's the same model of microwave, faulted three times from a different badges. And uh, it doesn't matter whether it's made in China or not. There's a lot of quality products made in China. By the way, uh, I think this microwave made in China as well. I didn't check it. But what I tried to say is the quality control, if microwave fails three times, new microwave, not repaired, three times with the same fault, the quality control or maybe, um, design not up to scratch so i decided in the third time uh shop offered me a credit to get samsung microwave which i come back later to what i think about a year later so that's not me bashing lg as a company i'm trying to say uh kodak once was a great company as well no more uh companies to survive to get at least not worse they need to innovate they need to look after their customers and i believe this is where lg start failing a little bit uh, and i'm not here to bash company just another one i bought a uh, lg fridge that arrived without uh, freezer working and uh, i just replaced it as a dead on arrival with other brands uh, it was lg as well so I'm kind of giving up on LG until I get better customer feedback from other people. Uh, I'm collaborating with other people like myself to help people like you to form your opinion. And again, if you decide to buy LG, there's nothing wrong with it. I'm just describing my journey so you can make your uh, 
uh, own choice. So for those people that commented kindly with stories, uh, literally more than probably 200 words, uh, how good LG as a product, I totally confirm that. 20 years ago, 15 years ago, my washing machine was LG. Most of the appliances in, in, the, in the kitchen were LG. Funny that the microwave was Panasonic, but it doesn't really matter. The second one is, uh, if I still believe, if this microwave, after one year old, worth the buy. First of all, as you can see, I would not create a keep microwave here if it wouldn't be working. So after one year, it works well. And I actually believe that majority of the downsides of this microwave would be, in my books, this microwave advantage. The biggest thing that I really enjoy in this microwave is how hard is to press all those buttons to start microwave and for some people it may cause a problem i believe you know the older people uh, and and you know and th there are circumstances when you don't want to press too hard on the buttons but i tell you what uh it was such a big trouble to clean front of lg microwave everything was so touch sensitive the haptic um feedback on the um, the digital slider was so sensitive the microwave would start without anything inside it could blow up anytime anyway so I believe the how hard to press buttons you can see I just poke in the buttons and nothing happens it actually allows me every day to cleanly wipe the uh, front of the microwave and and I think that's a great benefit another one that I really uh, could not stand that LG microwave is how to set up the time i don't know how about you i don't have any clocks around me and every time i'm in the kitchen uh microwave time besides my watch would be a time that i would look and, and gauge what time it is so with every not only power outage but also brownout that lg would reset to zero and there's a feature i'm not sure whether it's a feature or a bug it would give you a couple of minutes to set up time and if you don't, it goes into uh, like microwave mode. To actually go back and setting up time, you had to turn it off and back on and then set up time. I don't know how about you, but my um, micro uh, socket switch or power socket is behind microwave. It's not convenient to get to. And every time I was kind of struggling to get um, to the point to reset microwave, I, I really did not like it. Here in, in Samsung, you've got a button called clock. Doesn't matter what happens, if you come to the kitchen and you see the time is not right, you press on clock, adjust the time, off you go. So I think that's an amazing function of this microwave. Uh, so another one is uh, people say, all right, so it's uh, cheaply made and all that. I'm not sure what cheaply made is. Um, I cook in this microwave probably collectively more than half an hour every day that's a warming up uh, uh, breakfast lunch dinner i'm making my tea in the microwave i'm making rice in the microwave this microwave is working hard as a home domestic home appliance maybe in the commercial setting will be a different story but as a home appliance it's working really hard it i'd say heats up really even well lg was good as well but this one uh really hits up evenly and never skip any bit it's really good the only one problem here that i can see and many people commented on it and i totally agree it's light uh, the light inside is not led and when microwave works you cannot see what's inside so light is really um not good about that otherwise to be honest after one year would i still recommend this uh, micro of course not only because it did not fail on me, I could be lucky. I could be unlucky with LG. But you know, when same microwave fails three times within five years, same model, new microwave, you would think like one time is unlucky, two times something is wrong, three times, come on, that's enough. So this microwave is still working. The price was right when I was swapping LG for this one. I think I got it for $100 cheaper. And to be honest, um, I don't care about branding. You know, some people really get in a touch into branding and say, oh, the Samsung and LG, same thing, different thing. 
I don't care. To me, it's made not as cheap as uh, cheapest brand. Uh, the functionality is phenomenal, and you know, uh, simple things like even uh, it says sound. Like if my child sleeps, it's so easy to press sound. It wouldn't beep when when things finish. So I believe from user perspective, it's more cleanable, it's more customizable. Like clock, like sound, it costs less, and it still functions after a year. So after a year of using this microwave, uh, my conclusion is uh, I'm not here against LG, but I still uh, happy with my decision to buy Samsung as a microwave would I recommend it after a year yes the price is right and for those who love LG for what it was in the past yes I totally agree but in my books LG is not the same company today I will try to create another video after probably two or three years maybe even five years to see how it's going but I think it will be not much relevant because this model um, won't be I think in production but it is interesting to see how one brand um, operates better than another or particular model or I'm just lucky. Anyway, I'm really um, privileged that you guys are watching my channel, that I'm helping people out there. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, thumbs up please. If you would like to see something else and notified, subscribe to my channel. Otherwise, until next time, Greg from Brisbane, Australia.